Okay, so today I'm at the uh, scenic Stillwater Reservoir Loop in North Smithfield, Rhode Island. It's um, about a one and a half to one mile uh, loop from here over to Capron Road going along the Stillwater Reservoir. Now, I've been trying to avoid fishing on the weekends because of uh, some of the things that have been going on at the boat ramps. It's been getting a little heated with people who want to take up parking spots with their lawn chairs and picnic tables and block access to people who are trying to launch their boats and also uh, people who kind of like live on the association on the lakes coming down to the boat ranch telling fishermen to leave so that they can have their picnics and threatening to shut down state-owned boat ramps so i avoid going to those places now on the weekend to do any fishing i just don't want to have any issues so I'm out on another hike today I've got to cross this busy road um, to get out on the trail and then uh, we'll see you then okay so there's two roads there's the one on the park lot side that I parked at um, which goes down one way and there's one across the roadway um, which is the road that I've taken that will go up along the reservoir um, might go do the other one if I have time today to see what that looks like as well um, so far it's not clearly marked which one has all the uh, scenic views and stuff but I'm gonna head up around the reservoir first so I want to check it out see if maybe I want to come back here and do some fishing So this looks like an area I might want to do some fishing at. Beautiful lake behind me, beautiful open area here. Uh, looks to be somewhat deep. Got a lot of rock structures. This is definitely an area that I might try fishing at uh, this week. Try someplace new, see what I can catch. So apparently I probably should have taken the road going the uh, other way because this only brings you up on the other side of the dam. Although on that side of the dam, uh, it's a big open area. I see a lot of people fishing. So yeah, definitely uh, I'm going to try this during the week fishing, but not on the weekend. As you can see, there's way too many people, but I want to get along the other side, get a picture of the water coming off the dam. This is pretty cool. So, guy fishing off the dam over there that you just seen just caught himself a nice bass. Definitely gonna have to check this out. So, apparently, since this is not the uh, road that I wanted to take, I'm gonna head back up across the road and uh, take that one instead. Alrighty, well, underneath this uh, bridge is a nice little uh, river and spillway. See if I can see anything in here. I see a couple little minnow fish. I don't know if uh, they're being picked up on the camera or not. It does look like it gets pretty deep. May have to try this out also.
down that way. Okay, so, according to the map, it's a mile down to Capron Road from where I parked. But if you look at this road behind me, this looks like an excellent road if you want to take a mountain bike on. Um, it's very well pat down. It's not any loose sand. It's also um, very wide, very open. If you're looking for a short, quick ride. Tell you, I just love uh, this time of the year, mid to uh, late spring. Kind of reminds me of opposite fall where the colors are just so green in so many different shades of green it's really colorful out on the horizon the trail is still running along the river um, a lot of it's grown in though so i don't see many access points for fishing although there's a couple places i could probably get down uh, and make a couple casts like this one for instance let's check this out there goes a frog <clears throat> A lot of leaves on the bottom. Looks like it gets pretty deep. Yeah, definitely gonna have to try this out. So obviously somebody's been fishing up along here. Just found me some rubber worms. Getting to the point that I don't have to buy rubber worms anymore. I just find them everywhere that I go, but I'm definitely going to have to try this out. Oh yeah, there's many access points around here to go fishing. Matter of fact, I don't know if the camera's picking it up because of the glare, but I can see them. Uh, got some fish right here in the water. Look to be possibly bluegills. <clears throat> camera is picking them up it was all bluegills and small bass right over in there so we get the camera to pick it up Maybe a little hard to see. I don't have the polarizing filter on. Ah, two small bass. Swimming around coming this way. Definitely gonna have to try this on Monday. Definitely, 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 definitely. That's a nice view through there with all the rocks. Trail runs up along the river, and there's multiple, multiple access points for fishing. Glad I'm exploring this today. Um, there's a fisherman. Looks like something I'm definitely going to have to check out. And as I go down a little bit further, it looks like it opens up into a wider pond or lake area. So it looks like I'm coming up to a uh, picnic spot and waterfall and dam area along this path. Let's check it out. Apple Blossom Garden Club. Uh, looks like there used to be a pad in there, but maybe not. Nice little place to sit and rest. There's a little shower here for fishing. I 
pulling over here. I don't know how well that's going to be able to make out, but we're going to see if we can get to the other side. Can't really see the waterfall from here. It's a little bit grown in. Oh well. It's about as close as I'm going to be able to get, but here's the remnants of an old bridge up through here. Starts out over there. Runs across. These are the old uh, bridge abutments. You can still see the bolts and uh, wood that's in place, and that would have taken me up to the dam that's up that way, which I was hoping to check out. Uh, yeah, old abandoned bridge. By the looks of the uh, stones through here, and the way the stones go off up that way, looks like this also might have been a fjord too, where they crossed before they built the bridge. Now the bridge is a cement structure, so it is kind of Martin and look at that some of the metal that's sticking up from it like from over there which I can't get to I'm wondering if this was a railroad all right so it looks like this is where the road used to come in And I want to went across that way, across the bridge. Actually, I'm standing on top of one of the bridge structures right now. Check this out. On the uh, end of the trail on Capron Road. I did come upon another waterfall. Let me see if I can show you this waterfall over here. You know, when I lived in North Carolina, I used to go chasing waterfalls. I used to go look for them up in the mountains and everything. And they do have some spectacular ones, but one thing about uh, Rhode Island is with a lot of these old mill sites and old rivers and stuff, uh, there's a lot of old dams, so you're going to find a lot of waterfalls here in Rhode Island. Now, let me show you this one. I think there's a clearing right over here. I 
saw something that actually caught my eye. It looks like there might be some old uh, possible mill ruins up through here. Let me show you this uh, here. Definitely looks like mill ruins. See all the uh, cement structure. So this looks like it's possibly some old mill ruin site. You can see where the uh, floor joists were. There's still some wood sticking out over there. So yeah, this looks like an uh, old foundation. Alright, so what you're looking at over there is an old electrical insulator. Back in the old days, they built a lot of these mills up along rivers so that uh, the river so that the river and the uh, hydropower could actually power these mills. top side looking down you see some of the old uh, wood from the floor joists over there I'm gonna go ahead hike the trail back um, because if I go that way it just leads to the highway and it's uh, fenced off so I'm going to hike the trail back, and uh, if I see anything else, I'll film it. Otherwise, uh, it was a good day. It was a good hike.